my colleague mr shakti singh gohil has brought out an expose involving the gujarat urja vikas nigam limited and the prime minister's close friend mr gautam adani the norms are very clear under the ppa which was signed between gujarat urja vikas nigam limited and mr gautam adani that the coal procured by gautam adani from indonesia or wherever he procures it from he has to furnish the evidence of price bidding that he has participated into to procure that coal and based on those documents he will be given he will be compensated by the gujarat urja vikas nigam limited not above the argus rates a very clear norms but what we've now found out that for 5 years mr gautam adani's company was paid 3900 crores by gujarat urja vikas nigam limited not complying with the ppa norms with the ppa rules and the ppa conditions after the hindenburg report came and after the kind of pressure the congress party and other opposition parties raised in the parliament and outside the parliament mr rahul gandhi mr malikarjun kharge a lot of our leaders have been asking questions to mr narendra modi and his government on the association with mr gautam adani after that pressure the gujarat urja vikas nigam limited now writes a letter to mr gautam adani asking him to repay that excess amount paid to him 3900 crore rupees here is the letter which has been released by my colleague mr shakti singh gohel if you go through this letter it's very clear our questions are will the government agencies who are very active against the opposition leaders will they knock at the door of these companies of mr gautam adani our question is will the government is the government actually serious to recover these this 3900 crores which at the end of the day will have to be paid by the honest taxpayer honest consumer of electricity in gujarat people who voted this government into power is the government interested in the interest amount on this 3900 crore rupees for 5 years they haven't mentioned the word interest you and i borrow from a bank we get several reminders for interest also but this entire letter does not mention interest therefore our doubt on the seriousness of this of intent by the gujarat urja vikas nigam are they really interested